Okay, now we're going to start learning the concept of creating components. But first, I want to start addressing components by using the concept of functions, because that's where the theory of components is based on. And I want to do this little analogy, and I convert it into an exercise so that it gets more permanent into your brain. So we have here a function. This function is returning some um, HTML. It's called print hello. So this function, you can, instead of putting hello like this as an HTML, because that's possible, you can just put hello here and it will render this HTML into the div my div that if you run the website, you'll see that that div exists in the HTML here. It's my div, here it is. So React is grabbing that element and it's inside of it in the inner HTML it's adding the HTML that you explicitly say in the React DOM dot render. So we're saying that we want to render an H1 Hello World, and so it's going to put it inside, inside of it. If you open it now with the inspector, you'll see that it's inside that div. Look, body, my div, and there it is. The HTML Hello World, it's inside my div because we said it when we did, when we did React DOM dot render. We want it to render it inside my div. So you can also put, instead of putting it like this, hard coded, you can put it in like a function. And that gives you a lot of uh, opportunity. Because when you have it like a function, you can reuse it. As you know, by now, functions are amazing because they let you reuse code. So now you can reuse HTML code. In, and if you think about it, that's like a component. Because it's a piece of HTML that you can add into your website, like with Bootstrap, you did before with the Bootstrap components. Okay, so in the instructions, the only thing we have to do is to change I love React for Hello, uh, Hello World for I love React. So let's just change it and test it. And let's continue talking about components in the next one.